so welcome to the sixth regular expression tutorial and in the last episode we have learned about the grouping and references but now it's time to work with all the knowledge we have gained so far so let's try to match a simple email address which is my email address sarthak at bitfumes.com how we can match this so whenever you are going to start matching something you just need to dump that same thing on your regular expression so i will say sarthak at bitfumes.com but it is selected and yes we need to refer as a, a dot not as a special character so yes it is there but what if i say sarthak underscore two at bitfumes.com now things going to be interesting so here the first thing I can see is that yes I have the difference in the first name so what we need to do we need to check it so yes we want Sarthak or we want underscore 2 so if we say pipe sign and underscore 2 this is not going to work because we need to say this as a group so either this or this so yes we have this but this is not going to capture the sarthak we want that but underscore 2 is optional so what we can say we can move this inside character set and now we will say okay that sarthak is good but this underscore 2 is optional so it is not going to work because now we need to say that Sarthak is a word or it's a group and similarly this also a group so let's remove these square brackets and yes it is going to work because I am saying that okay I want Sarthak then after underscore 2 is optional but let's say I have a Sarthak and any number at bitfumes.com okay so things are going to be interesting because now we need to include some numbers also so yes after that i can say backslash d and that can be one or more selected <laughs> great but suppose that i have given a condition that i just want to have a sarthak and then only four digit for the number so one two three four at bitfumes.com so yes it is matching but i only want this to be matched not this and interesting thing is that we have lost the matching for this so yes we want that but this is also optional so we can say question mark here and move this inside brackets so yes everything is matching but i don't want to match this so we need to say this digit has to be only four characters so this is good but again i want sarthak at gmail.com to be matched so how we can match it so this time we need to say okay at not only bit fumes it can be anything so anything means a to z so this is good we have done that but it's not going to match what is the problem here because this a to z is only going to match single character we want any number of characters so yes we have matched this gmail also then i don't want to have the com at the last maybe i have org so maybe that will be the case so yes we know in the last episode we have done that yes i want a to z but that only have to be three or sometime it can be two so maybe this one will also going to work okay so this one is also going to work but not this one so let's tackle this one so yes i want a group that is optional which is going to match dot and then a to z for only two times so yes it is going to match but still we have problem so suppose i want to have a pattern which is not ju just going to uh, search for the sarthak which is going to search for john at a b c d e f uh, dot com so let's say how we can match this so now we don't want to hard code this sarthak we want to have a 
a to z and a to z more than 1 yes it is going to match this but again we have a weird problem if we have dot let's say bitfumes dot github.com how about this it's not going to work because it terminate with git because we have said that okay you can take this three items so now we have to tackle this situation that okay that can be after add the rate sign we have something and then this portion dot github portion is optional so just after this point we can say we want to have this and then a to z and that can be more than one so yes this is selected but dot github portion is optional so dot github portion is we have created here so let's make this inside a group yeah here it is but it's not going to match because now we need to make the plus sign here so this is good but we have lost the condition for these things so let's make this optional and yes everything is there and yes we have uh, created a system we just want four digit that's why it's not selected so remove that so it is very useful to have any kind of email address selected and this is all with the knowledge we have gained so far in this tutorial series so this is looking so so much but now i think you can understand it easily and we can reduce this we can enhance this because now it says that yes alpha is there numeric is there so why not use alpha numeric system so let's remove all these so like this so I want just A to Z or 0 to 9 and this can be inside parenthesis. So this can be more than one <laughs> and exactly same result we are achieving. So this is very good but yeah we have underscore and we know if we can use backslash W this can search for alphanumeric, numeric and underscore also so now we don't have to include this underscore also here and we don't need to include this two here and we don't need to include this question mark here so now everything is set here so this is good so anything any word character with underscore at the rate then anything that means any website name and this is good so after that we have a to z that means characters list like dot github which is optional so question mark says this portion is actually optional then we have two or three that means two for dot co or three for dot com dot org or then after we have this portion if we have two that dot co then we also have dot in dot uk dot us whatever it is but this portion is optional so question mark with this portion so this is to match any email address with this kind this level of uh, rules that name has to be alphanumeric with underscore only so at this point i'm sure you are comfortable with determining a pattern for any kind of email address and i will encourage you to come up with more complex email address and we can find the regular expression for the most complex email address and you can just play around these things on the comment section of video and if you want to follow me on other videos of this series and also much more web development related things on youtube then just go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye